You know, seeing asks, hi, Mike. Let's say a long string contains a city name, and we have a list of cities. I want a formula to show me which city the list contains. Here's all of the descriptions. And our goal is from this list to look into this string, pull out Sacramento, deposit it here. Pull out Oakland, we want it to show here. Well, guess what? The formula I'm going to show you uses the search function, which has been around forever. And the formula we're going to learn is from Barry Houdini. That's the first person I learned it from 13 years ago at the Mr. Excel message board. Now we want to find text. We want to put in the whole array. This will spill an array of answers, comma, within this. Now close parentheses. Actually, I'm going to highlight this in F4 because eventually we're going to have to lock this and copy it down. But watch this, Control-Enter. There's a 22 and 1, 2, 3, 4 in the fourth position. That's what I want to go and get and put it in this cell. Now that 22 is search saying it counted in 22 characters, and that's where it found Sacramento. F2, here's the original lookup function, lookup. Now the beauty of lookup in the old days is it could handle arrays, and it's not going to be bothered at all by the errors in search. Now the lookup value, well, wait a second. We have numbers here. The maximum number of characters in a cell is 2 caret 15 minus 1. So if I put in a number bigger than any number of characters possible in a cell, and because lookup does approximate match, that big number will always find the position of whatever number search delivers. So big number, lookup value, it's going to find the position there, comma, result vector is this, F4, close parentheses. And that simple formula using ancient functions, and notice there's lots of ways to solve this problem, but this one only uses two functions, Control-Enter. Double click and send it down. you got to be kidding. This old school formula from Barry Houdini is certainly the best formula I can think of. Now, what if we want to spill this formula? Well, we can use by row and iterate through this description list. So by row, tab, the array that we want to iterate, this, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, comma. And function, well, we need to define a function. And the lambda function is how we define a function with Excel worksheet formulas. Now, we need to define a variable that represents each row in the by row array. I'm going to use r, comma. Now, it says parameter or calculation, but this is where we spill our calculation. And guess what? Since I just put the formula here, it helps me figure out which part is R. Well, there it is. That's the first row in this whole array. So since by row and lambda will iterate, I'm going to put R. Now close on lambda, close on by row, and you won't believe this. When I Control Enter, we've spilled the results. Now, there's other ways to do it, but again, that is super long compared to the amazing Barry Houdini lookup and search solution. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.